The Spotify car thing is useless. At least, it was until people figured out how to install a custom OS onto it, allowing the car thing to be useful once again. Now there are a couple different operating systems you can install onto it, those being Desk Thing and Nocturne. And the steps to initially install each are essentially the same, so let's get into it. Just as a small warning, installing a custom operating system to devices does have a chance of bricking the device, so be aware of that. And if possible, use the USB port that provides the most power possible, since most USB ports provide generally less power than what the car thing likes to have. Before the actual steps, we're going to go over the prerequisites for each OS, since the way you connect to the internet to make your car thing useful again does differ slightly between both. First, for, for both, you're going to need Spotify Premium to be able to control anything Spotify related, so do keep that in mind. For Desk Thing, it appears you can only really use it at home, since you'll need to download the Desk Thing server app, which is available from Windows, Mac, and Linux. And for Nocturne, you have a few options. First, if your phone plan supports the ability to be used as a hotspot, you can connect the car thing via Bluetooth and get internet that way. The second way is with a Raspberry Pi. You can install a custom OS, the Nocturne connector onto an SD card, then the Pi will share its Wi-Fi or Ethernet capabilities while connected with via USB. You're also going to want the Spotify app installed on your phone for Nocturne, so you can pair it to Spotify later. First, we're going to want to download the files for whichever OS you have in mind. The links for those will be in the description, and if you don't have one chosen, I'll be going over the pros and cons of both later in the video, so you will at least go into the process knowing how to install each one. Next, we'll install a driver to be able to connect our device to a Windows machine. I'll have the command in the description as well. First, we're going to need to open PowerShell, preferably open it as an administrator just to be safe, and enter the command going on screen now and in the description. Preferably, you should just copy and paste it, then hit enter. The driver will install, and we're done with PowerShell. Now, if you're on Mac, you shouldn't need to do anything, and if you're on Linux, you might need to enter this command into your terminal if the next step doesn't automatically work. Once we're done with that, we'll need to open the website https colon forward slash forward slash terbium dot app, and we'll be following the instructions there. Next up, we'll need to connect our car thing to our computer while holding two buttons on the top. From the left, they are the first and the fourth buttons, then plugging the cable into either your computer or the car thing, depending on what's easier for you to do. Now we go back to the website and follow the prompts. So hit next, then hit done. Hit the connect button and choose your device in the pop-up window. That should show up. It should be listed as GX chip. Hit the connect button again. The car thing will temporarily disconnect, then reconnect. Once that happens, hit connect and choose unknown device from AmLogic and connect. Once we're all connected, we'll have the options of restore our local folder or restore from archive. We're going to choose restore from local archive and we're going to hit select archive, click on our folder or file, then once it loads up, we're going to hit the select button again. Terbium should now be installing our chosen OS. And once it's done, unplug and plug it back in the car thing. And the car thing should turn on and from now on boot into the custom OS we installed. Now we're going to be going over connecting to the internet on each OS. I'm going to start with Nocturne first, since that one gave me a lot less issues. To connect your car thing to your phone, first make sure it's not connected to a computer, as that can potentially cause issues with connecting to your phone via Bluetooth. Once connected to a different power source, go into your phone's Bluetooth settings, look for the device named Nocturne, and try to connect. It will prompt you to confirm a code, hit accept or confirm on your phone and car thing, and it should connect. And if you haven't already turned on your personal hotspot, do that now. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to scan a QR code. Do that and allow your Spotify app to pair the car thing to your account, and you should now be able to control Spotify. Now, if we're using a Raspberry Pi to connect, we'll need to download the OS image from Nocturne's GitHub at this link. Once you do that, you can install Nocturne connector on whatever storage your Raspberry Pi works with. In my case, it's a micro SD card. Now, they recommend Belina Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. I personally had success with Pi Imager, but not Belina Etcher for getting the OS installed. So open up whichever one works for you, choose the OS image and your storage device, then flash the OS to it. Afterwards, just connect a car thing via USB cable, reinsert your storage and power on the Pi. Once it's powered on, you'll need to hit the network settings button, hit Wi-Fi, then find your network and enter your Wi-Fi password. And once you're done with that, you should now be connected to the internet. If you're connecting it for the first time, it will prompt you to scan a QR code just like with the Bluetooth way, just scan it with your phone and pair it to Spotify, and you're all connected. Now we can get to getting desk things set up. Fair warning beforehand, you may have to mess with your settings a bit or restart desk thing for it to work, as that's what I had to do after getting most everything set up. So first things first, we're going to navigate to the download section of desk things website and download the version of the desk things server that corresponds with your operating system. In my case, that is Windows. Install the app. Windows may prompt you saying desk things a dangerous app. 
just hit more info and run anyways, so that way you can install the app. Just let us do its thing, then allow access into your firewall so that we can access the internet and everything else it might need to access. Once open, navigate to the Clients tab, find your car thing and hit Configure. If it's not showing up, you may need to hit the refresh button. Once it says connected, go back to the car thing and hit sync with server. And we're now technically done setting up car thing. But you should check your notifications. It's going to ask you about advanced settings. Hit no so we can enable the advanced settings. And you're now free to choose whatever apps you want to install. And we're going to go through installing Spotify real quick. Navigate to the download tab, find Spotify and download latest. It may prompt you about the client being incompatible. Acknowledge it and hit initialize. Next, we're going to click on Tasks and find the Spotify app. Hit Play and follow the prompts. We're going to click on the link to open the developer dashboard. If you're not logged in, you'll just want to log in. Click on the link in the Desk Thing app again, then follow the prompts to accept any terms. Create an app. The name in the description don't matter, but enter the redirect URL as the link on screen. We're going to save our app and then go back to the Desk Thing app and hit the Mark as Completed button. Once we've created our app, we're going to copy the client ID into the box and hit Mark as Complete. Then find your client's secret, paste it in, and hit mark as completed. We should have the redirect URL already entered, so hit mark as completed again. A box should open up prompting us to open a link. Click on it, hit the agree button, then hit the open desk thing button, and hit mark as completed once more. Now theoretically, if we open the Spotify app anywhere, and open Spotify on the desk thing, we should be able to control the volume and skip songs along with other controls. And if it isn't working, I would recommend restarting this thing, stopping and starting the Spotify app in the apps section, along with hitting restart Chromium on the device under clients. Also, if you do install any other apps, be sure to check out the tasks area of the desk thing server to make sure you don't need to do anything else. And with that, we've modded the car thing in the more common configurations. If you haven't decided on what OS to install, let's quickly go over the pros and the cons. We'll start with Nocturne as I feel like that's easier. Pros. You're able to use Nocturne pretty much anywhere you want due to it having the ability to connect via Bluetooth or with just a Raspberry Pi. It's also a very simple OS that lets you pretty much restore the functionality of your car thing to be used as a controller for Spotify. Cons. You can only use it as a controller for Spotify. Also, if you're using it at home, the setup, if you're trying to use it with a Windows machine, can be complicated and most people aren't going to want to go through even more troubleshooting if that wasn't to work, meaning you basically need a Raspberry Pi or a hotspot capabilities for it to work. As for desk thing, its pros are that it is really easy to use when at home with your computer, since it has an app built specifically for home use in mind. Also, it has a bunch of different apps for you to use, like Discord and a local audio controller. Though I've had issues with the local audio controller, so your mileage may vary with how the apps actually work. But it makes the desk thing more than just a controller for Spotify. And for cons, it pretty much is only usable at home, since again, the app is built for desktops. Though you could use it with a laptop, so it's slightly portable. Another con is that some of the apps might not work without a bit more work, as it did for me. So what OS you want to install really depends on if you're using it uh, on the go or at home, and have a spare USB port on your computer. For at home, this thing has been more useful to me, and for on the go, Nocturne is the obvious winner there due to the ability to use it with Bluetooth tethering. But hey, that's how you're able to mod a Spotify car thing, and get it set up in pretty much any way you want to. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.